happy new year. This is the first full vlog in 2021. How exciting. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I'm Chronically Jenny and this is my little vlog where I just talk about life really, um, but mainly my life with my chronic illnesses, which are hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS. Um, we have some fun on here. We also have a lot of stress, but that's fine. We're all in this together, us in the little spoony club. I feel like I've started off my year productively. And when I say my year, I mean from today, because today is Monday. So this is the official start of the new year for me. The holidays are over. Not that I really had a break from work, but they are officially over. Our Christmas decorations are down. We're back to normal. And I don't want to be the kind of person for New Year's resolutions and all that kind of stuff, because it's not really me. I much prefer a good goal. Um, but I am using this time as a good reset because I think we all do need a little reset every once in a while especially if things have gone a bit awry so this is my my good excuse um and again I'm trying to get back on the exercise but it's not a new year new me thing it's a I am deconditioning because I've been stuck inside for however long and I need to do some exercise to to keep my my muscles with some vague strength in them. Um, so this morning I got out the Wii Fit. I know, that's a very 2010 thing of me to have done. <laughs> but uh, I remember using the Wii when I did um, pain management rehab at RNOH. And it was kind of just a fun thing, but it actually does use more energy and muscles and things than you think. Um, so I've been struggling to find something that I can do at home that's easy for me to do. So I remembered that we had the Wii Fit and I was like, you know what, I'm going to give this a go. And I tried it this morning and it was really, really good. And it means that I can just do 10, 15 minutes, like with all games and fun things and actually do some vague amount of exercise that I can actually feel in my muscles. So I'm going to try and do that every day. Hopefully I can stick to that. Um... And then I've just been doing a little bit of recording. That is my birthday balloon, which is still going from November. Madness. Um, I probably need to throw in the bin. <laughs> but um, I'm working with Spoonie Village um, to record their blog posts. They're relaunching their blog um, this year. We've got some great, great posts. And um, so it can be as accessible as possible for people who um have vision impairment or just struggle to to read and to concentrate um i'm reading all the blog posts for them so that there is um a voice and you can listen to that and hopefully it's more entertaining than the electronic voices of of screen readers i know they're pretty good now but hopefully i i do it justice um i think it's been really good for me as well because often when i'm reading stuff in a voiceover sense I it's not like I don't have any interest in it but I'm not as connected to it whereas I'm reading these words and agreeing with a lot of it and understanding a lot of it so it makes it much more interesting and and um yeah just makes it work well for me I think and hopefully uh, people listening will find it works well but anyway I've rambled on a bit and it's only Monday so <laughs> I will chat to you a little bit later more fun things going on today. Um, for those of you who've been watching my vlogs for a little while will know that I've been having some gynecological issues lately with no good reason. Um, so I got a referral by my GP back in the beginning, middle of December. And they said on the letter, if you haven't heard by the end of December, then give us a call. So I gave them a call today and um, just got told that I'm on the waiting list and I will hear, not even get the appointment, I will hear within 18 weeks. I know COVID and everything, but it's just, 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 like, I'm freaking out. And as someone with a chronic illness, I tend not to freak out too much at random symptoms because I kind of always attribute them 
to uh, to something I already have, which um, may not be the best thing. Um, because if there is something serious, it would take me a long time to know because I would think it was normal. Um, but I know this isn't normal. So the fact that no one's going to even look at it for at least 18 weeks is, um, is stressful. But then also we've got uh, Boris's announcement again at eight o'clock tonight, um, which is probably going to put even tougher restrictions on the UK. Scotland has already gone into absolute full lockdown and I'm sure that the rest of the UK will be going the same way tonight. And um, it's tricky because I think so many of us were so hopeful that this vaccine would change things and we would be seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and the numbers just seem to be going up and up and up and up and up and ugh, I think we just have to stick with it I just really hope that some of the things come back to being virtual because in the first lockdown there was so much connectivity and it was so great for people with chronic illnesses and disabilities that hadn't had that and then it all disappeared and I hope it comes back and I hope this time it comes back to stay. Let's clean those pee boots. Afternoon guys, happy Tuesday. Happy lockdown 3.0 to all of my lovely UK um, people watching. It's, <sighs> the thing is, I think people who've been in tier four for a long time, nothing much has really changed unless you have kids. I do feel terribly sorry for all those parents who have to, to work and teach simultaneously. I can't imagine how hard that is to, to juggle um, and I'm also so so sorry to all the clinically extremely vulnerable people that Boris told to shield again last night when I know for the most part that none of you have actually stopped shielding um, it's absolutely ridiculous like there's not been enough support for those people and there's not been enough support for people either who have underlying health conditions who would be badly affected but aren't clinically extremely vulnerable it's just all a bit of a mess all of it's a bit of a mess but anyway we'll get through it um as i say there's not much changing um for me for us probably for a lot of people who've been in tier four for a while it's just frustrating that the government haven't done things sooner and i'm frustrated by the fact that they're still not doing enough like if things are worse than they were in march which they are then as much should be closed like, you know, things like B&M and Home Bargains, they were all shut in lockdown one. Not this time. You couldn't go and get your, your car serviced or buy a house or do any of those things in the first lockdown, but you can this time. It's just, just, if you're gonna get this under control, you need to just stop people. You need full lockdown where you go out for your weekly food shop and that's it. I know it's hard, but that's the only way that we're going to beat this. I don't, that's what other countries have done. And the UK has got this so wildly, wildly wrong. We're the first place with the vaccine, yet we've got the highest rates in the world. It's absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I'll stop ranting. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm preaching to the choir here, I know. Um, but just in the hopes that someone sees this, <laughs> who's vaguely important, uh, I have my little rant. But anyway, I'm just working today. I've made myself um, an escape room for work this morning and I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, if it works for work, then I'll make some more. Maybe I'll make a little spoony escape room. Let me know if you'd like that. Um, yeah, we're just making some lunch. I have fallen in love a little bit with Chuno, which is fake tuna. 
Um, it's soya, so if you've got a soya allergy, you can't have it, but I'm loving it. So I've been making myself fake tuna mayo um, rolls the past couple of weeks, and now I'm making my first tuna pasta bake. So um, I'm excited about that. This is the level of excitement that is in my lockdown life. <laughs> Anyway, we also gave Honey a little bath last night, as you saw. She wasn't a huge fan. Um, it was more to try and soften up her nails so we could cut her nails more than anything, and she wasn't having that either. I think I managed to get about four nails, but it's an improvement on last time where she absolutely wanted out. So there we go. Anyway, I better get on with my lunch and get back to work, and I will speak to you later. Morning guys, happy Wednesday. I'm saying morning like it's morning, it's not afternoon. But I did have quite a productive morning um, getting my minutes in on the Wii Fit. I'm having quite a lot of fun with it and it's keeping me motivated to stick on it. And because it's always there, the, the Wii Fit balance board, it's kind of a constant reminder to, to do it. So I'm doing that first thing when I wake up um, after my meds have settled in. Um, so hopefully I can keep it up and it just might help my my deconditioning uh, it's got yoga on there it's got muscle workouts it's got aerobic stuff uh, it's got balance stuff so it's all really really helpful and i can pick and choose what what works for me so um yeah i'm i'm glad about that and then i went down to sort out the absolute state of my car um i've still got a bag of rubbish that i need to go through and see what's actually rubbish and what isn't but um, it feels nice to have that sorted because it's going for an MOT tomorrow, so it needs to be tidy. Um, but I still don't really know what to do with my old walker. I just, I can't bear to part with it. <laughs> um, so she's popped up here for now and she'll go back in the car once the MOT is done and then I'll figure it out, I suppose. I mean, she's useless. Like, I don't think she'd be any good for anyone, but I can't bear to throw in the bin. Um, and then we've got all the washing up done and had some lunch and I'm just about to start doing some work. So yeah, productive day. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Um, I have just had my MRT and I'm a little bit stressed out. Um, the car's fine, um, which is good, like <laughs> I needed it to be after the tyre incident, um, last month. But the the guy at the garage just wasn't wearing a face mask like from the state of his hands they were not being washed regularly um i know like he had the car kind of mostly outside and he did at least open my car window when he was in it but i just felt really freaked out driving back knowing that this person had been in my car uh, without taking any precautions um so obviously like i as soon as i got home i like wiped down everything that I touched, you know, washed my hands a lot, did everything I could to kind of hopefully negate that, that risk. But, oh, it just, it was just stressful. And I just don't understand w why they weren't following any precautions. Um, stressful. Anyway, um, I've just been working today um, and that's about it. Also, um, I ordered some press-on nails from a lovely local business to me, um, the Beauty Room in Stamford Hope, and I got her to make me some princess-themed nails, and I'm absolutely in love with them. I hope the camera does these justice. These are the Arna ones. I'm sure you'll see me with them on in no time. Um, but they're beautiful. I just sent her some kind of ideas and inspiration and let her run wild with it, and she's done a really good job. And then these are some Rapunzel ones. I don't know if you can see, but it's like ombre with little flowers and they're so sparkly. Um, I feel like I'm gonna put some on now just because I can, <laughs> even though I'm not gonna be a princess for a little while. Um, but yay, I'm so excited. Morning guys, happy Friday. Um, I have a horrible headache and I'm very, very tired. And just feeling like I've overdone it this week, which I have. <laughs> um, I did a post about usable hours on Instagram yesterday. And uh, it was only when I was writing that most Spoonies probably have about five usable hours. 
and then I typed out everything I'd done that day and was like oh <laughs> um but as I said on Instagram yesterday I will make up for that today and have a lot of rest um yeah I feel like there's so much that I could be doing but I need to not do um that's probably the best plan but I am going to try and get up and at least move to the sofa so I can at least watch some things while I'm resting. Hey guys, managed to do a little bit of exercise this morning which is good. I've been keeping that up this week and I'm really pleased um, with myself and with how my muscles are feeling sore but good sore and stronger and that is what we need after so many months of deconditioning and not doing enough for my body um and had a shower which was lovely and did a tiny bit of work and now it is officially the weekend and rest time um i was going to do some makeup just because i wanted to but i just do not have the energy so i think i'm going to put put a film on um before before ian finishes work I've also set up a buy me a coffee account. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, it's not a real coffee. It's a, <laughs> and it's definitely not a coffee. I've changed it actually to buy me a spoon because I thought that was more, <laughs> more relevant. Um, if you would like to buy me a spoon and you are able to, it would mean the world to me. I'll pop the link in the, the description. I think it's um, buy me a coffee slash chronic Jenny because chronically Jenny was too long. <laughs> but your support always means so much anyway. But if you'd like to go and support me there, that would be great. And there are like membership options so you can get some little extra bits of content. Um, so thank you in advance for doing that. Anyone who wants to and is able to. Um, I'm gonna rest. It's Ian's first time pushing me <laughs> and he wants to be a little boy racer. <laughs> the Rolls is handling it pretty well to be fair. <laughs> I hope you won't do this all the time. <laughs> Morning guys, happy Sunday. Um, yesterday I wasn't feeling too good at all really it was mainly my shoulders and my neck they're still a little sore but nowhere near as bad as they were yesterday it was so bad that i couldn't use my stick or put any weight through it um i spent most of the morning just on the sofa completely chilled out i was so tired as well i felt like i was going to drift off um about every second but i decided that i still needed to get out and go shopping with ian um and we went round asda um but then I was really, really tired uh, because I didn't have my stick to support my legs. So um, we got my walker out, my new Rolls Motion Walker, um, for the little extra bits we needed in Home Bargains and B&M that you can't get in Asda. Um, and it was good. It was Ian's first time driving. So he was having a lot of fun. Uh, he was being a little boy racer, which I hope won't become a habit. Um, because... I don't like the fact that in the rolls you don't have any control because usually when I'm in a wheelchair it's usually my manual wheelchair which I can then turn myself around or you know move a little bit myself even if I can't push myself for for ages I have some level of control <laughs> I can also stop myself <laughs> um but yeah it was Ian's first time pushing he did pretty damn well but I did get my toes knocked into some things a couple of times um and there was one time where he left me facing one way when he turned around to look at something i was like at least turn me around <laughs> um but yeah that was that was all so it was good um and i was so surprised with how well the rolls handled i figured that it would be a bit like rickety as a wheelchair but it was a really smooth ride actually i was really pleasantly surprised um i was really comfortable um so yeah, all, all things looking good. I haven't had much of a chance to, to use it as yet, so it was kind of nice. Not, not in the fact that I was in horrible pain, but it was nice to uh, get the opportunity to, to give it a proper, proper try out. And I will try and do a video soon, probably once things have warmed up a little bit, um, showing you all the cool things about my new walker. Um, yeah, we had a lazy evening and just, um, watched football and watched a film 
What did we watch? Oh, Contagion. <laughs> Which I don't know if it was the best choice. It was scarily similar to what's going on at the moment. Um, but it was a good film. Um, today we've had a very lazy morning. We didn't wake up till about half ten. And uh, it's now like half eleven and we're still in bed. We just had some breakfast um, and chilled. But we're getting up now. I'm going to go put some makeup on. Um, and we are going to go for a little walk um, and come back and sort the flat out a bit. And that is the plan for Sunday. <laughs> hey gang, um, I'm super proud of my makeup today. Um, this was inspired by a video from Tess Daly. If you don't follow her on Instagram, I've probably talked about her loads, um, but I love her, she's awesome. Uh, and she does the best makeup. So this is inspired by her, it's a little um, purple and green number. I use this, um, this is the NYX Brights palette. Um, and it's a NYX highlighter and um, it's a MAC lipstick but with a NYX lip gloss um, and I'm very proud of myself but anyway that's not what I came to talk to you um, I've just been filming some little bits but I have just filmed something about memberships for YouTube because YouTube now does memberships so if you'd be interested in becoming a member of my channel and getting some extra perks then you can head down to the membership options and have a look through what you might like to join as and I can't wait to have you over there and it's Sunday the days are kind of blurring into one. I don't really know what, what day it is. Uh, I'm very excited for next week and tomorrow. Um, I mean, mainly tomorrow because I get to be a princess. So make sure you tune in next week to see who that's gonna be. Um, lots of spoons and love to all of you. I hope you've had an okay week. I think mine's been a bit up and down. I, I had a bit of a, a moment last night. I had a bit of a cry. I think just have been keeping a lot of stuff that's bothering me bottled up and it's just kind of grown and I think it's been really hard not having that that social contact um because I've just been so busy like I worked every single day this week um which I shouldn't really be doing but there you go and it looks like I'm going to be doing a similar thing next week which I haven't really thought about but oh well I am going to promise I promise to try and give myself a little bit of a break but we will see <laughs> Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Lots of love, as I've already said. Uh, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd hit subscribe and I will see you next week for another video. Night. <laughs>